the last study that we wanted to present to you today is how to calculate roughness values. And we will start with this AFM data, which we will first prepare for analysis, um, like that, for instance. Roughness parameters or any surface texture parameters in mountain steep, you will find under the parameters table. When you select it, you will find a choice of parameters available. If you want to look for specific parameters, you just have to find it here. For instance, the SQ parameter. And you will have three different um, definitions. So let's pick the latest one, which is the ISO 25178. OK. If you're unfamiliar with the parameters, their definition, how they can be used, and why, you can press F1 in any part of the software, actually, to get um, a contextual help. So here you have information related to all of the parameters, the height parameters of that standard. Information, definition, calculation, reference to um, previous standards. And the same for all of the parameters that we provide in mountains technology. Surface texture parameters um, are being calculated usually on filtered surface. If you want to calculate them on unfiltered surface, those are called primary surface in mountain steep. If you want to calculate it, and if you want to follow closely the ISO standard, you will calculate, you will select roughness surface, which means that at least a filter will be applied for separating the waviness component of your surface and the roughness component of your surface. You may change the cutoff value. And then when you are happy with the number of parameters you want to calculate, and click on OK. We have prepared another example, this one. And you see that from uh, the histogram, there is two steps. Uh, two plane, a top layer, which is here, and the bottom layer, which is the S shape. I will show you how to use the threshold operator to extract both layers and calculate roughness parameters on both layers for comparison, for instance. First, we use the threshold operator. We isolate the top layer like that. We do it another time. We isolate the bottom layer like that. OK. Now, if you look closely, you will see that there's some effect on the edges. And it will have a consequence, an impact on the calculation, on the value. So you may want to erode slightly around those areas to remove these. And you may find the same thing here. To do so, we will use the retouch operator. Operators can be applied on multiple data selected in a workflow or in a document. So I will select both layer choose operators, and you see here available batch of operators. I will select retouch. Previously, we have used the retouch operator to remove isolated artifacts. This time, we will use it on the whole surface. And we will only retouch non-measure points, meaning these area. 
we will dilate them 50 nanometers and we will replace these 50 nanometers by more non-measure points. So we're not, we, we don't add data, we erase part of the surface like that, which um, erase those um, edges. Click on OK. And then the operator has been applied on both layers. We can delete these. Now I can select the two layers, select studies and available batch studies parameter table. And I want to calculate the SQ parameters on the unfiltered surfaces this time. Select OK. And now I have the two. And then you can compare roughness values in the bottom layer and in the top layers.